Hello, everybody. So, this is actually the last game of this chess tournament in Croatia, Zagreb. Ah, I played with the black pieces, so I have to turn uh, the chessboard. Uh, I played against uh, against the prodigy from Croatia. He started only some 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 weeks ago, but maybe about I cannot. I cannot explain to you. He plays very good at chess. He's very, very strong. But I had to win. If I'm not managing to win this game, I won't be in the top third, even top five player. So, he played d4. I didn't prepare for the game. Knight f6, c4, e6, knight f3, d5. CD, queens, uh, exchange, um, exchange, a QCD. So, Typical position, knight e2, already in this misplaced. I thought that knight f3 was better, but okay. Rook e8, castle, knight f8, f3, and knight e6. And here we have a position which he had already, which he already had in his life, because I saw the game uh, that he played two rounds ago, two rounds ago. He played e4, and for me e4 was a bit premature rate, even in the last game, because after D, E, F, D, which we played, the pawns are isolated, and these are actually hanging pawns, and the black squares are weak. So I played knight g4, and he took on e7. Here, I really thought that just taking was good, but I decided to play queen c7 first, threatening mate, and all the moves that he can play are a bit special, because if you're playing knight g3, that is knight e3, knight takes, and knight takes, and I'm winning a piece. Even though he comes back, I would just take back and go back. And uh, if you play, for example, the move that he plays in the game, I will just take back. And now you have now this d4 pawn is very weak, and the only way for him to 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 hold his position is play queen d2 or rook f3. And I thought that after I c5, my position is good. He played a move, and I missed a win. This is an engine win. So he's actually threatening my my, my f7 pawn. There's only one way to defend. Actually, two. This and this. First of all, I wanted to play a rook f8, and that does agree that I'm actually better because I will win one of the pawns. But I thought that bishop e6 is stronger. I saw that after this, I thought that after all these moves, I'm better, but I'm not. I th the reason why I'm not better is because after is d5, there is the move queen there, threatening mate, and after h3, I will take and attack the bishop with my knight in my in my queen and after you take the bishop the knight will guard f7 so i would i will play queen takes uh queen takes there and i will just win a pawn i would win the d4 pawn but i missed that i took directly and i will had this kind of end game so i was completely better during the middle game and i started to and the position started to slip out of my hand so actually i'm having a bad position and i just said that one is slightly better but it is nothing he played knight g3, so I started to find counterplay. Rook e3, rook c1, knight f5. And I already thought he has no moves. And I completely overlooked king f2. So you see, I, I thought that I can just take in this, but he has just e takes, and I have no fault. I have nothing. And this does not work. Yeah, it doesn't work, because he will just come back, and I will have no square with my knight. So, okay. I play rook d3, knight there, and the position is act actually equal, so it is pretty fine. But I have to find a move that is knight d5, and I I didn't know what to play between knight d5 and knight there. And I saw that after this, I completely overlooked king 1. So, okay, I played c4, and he played king c2, and this is a mistake. I, I really thought that rook d1 was better with the idea that after knight takes, which I played in the game, he would take back, um, and... Uh, and, and he's just a piece up. And in the game, after the game, I told him this. And he told me, no, 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 it's not good. Because after this, he cannot take my rook because it's guarded. Yeah, but you take my knight. And his pawns are then blocked by big two knights. But okay. He played rook c2. He was low on time. So I decided to play this position. And, you know, with, with the engine, you, you, can, you can say that white is a bit better. But without the engine, you see, this is a very tough position to play. The position is completely equal right now. The position is completely equal uh, because I have enough pawns and I will be fast enough to trade the pawns. But I saw rook d2, but he decided to play king e2. After king e2, I saw a move that is not a win. I played a3, and a3 does not win. 
remove that wins is rook d7 or rook d8 and then I will push a3 but okay uh, I played a3 and after knight takes which he played I play knight x and you cannot take there because I will just push and if you play rook a1 for me it was winning there's just a2 knight takes and knight b4 and then I'm threatening knight there and I will just win so you have to give up the 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 the, the you have to give up the rook for the knight and the pawn, and then you will have. Uh, I mean, you have to give up. Oh, we will have. We will have in the end of the day a position where my opponent will have a rook and the knight and two pawns against a queen and two pawns, and this is a draw. But I didn't saw this. We were very low on time. But he played rook d2, so okay, a2, and right now we have a position where I win the pawn, and this is a completely different position because I'm a pawn. So now I have to find a way to to win this position, and you will see. It is not over yet. I played queen d6 in order to control all the squares and starting to push my pawns. Rook there, g6, and uh, queen a6 check, this, this, and I started to shuffle around in order to misplace his king and trying to, to push g6, h5 at the right moment because my only game plan right now is to create a passed pawn. Okay, uh, so here we had already 30 minutes more, so now I had to find the best ways for me to, to win the game. So, okay, queen d4, I, I found the, the way, the correct way for me to improve my position. I found all these ideas of uh, improving the position of my king, of my pawn, and of my queen. And this is very important to do this check because if I go there, the rook will be fast enough to block the pawn and it would be more complicated for me. So okay, I decided to play this line. This is actually the best line. H4 winning already the, the knight. So okay, this is actually forced, so everything is fine. But now we have a problem. Houston, we have a huge ah oh, we have such a problem. Ah oh, I hate this. When I'm looking at this at this position I mean I mean how did I do that for winning? This is completely winning. And the person who will look at this game is actually a friend of mine and thanks to this friend I'm actually playing chess and he told me before the chess tournament that he was working at all these end games and I told him yeah 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 I will do the same I didn't work these end games but my opponent did <coughs> and then we played 90 moves no 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 90 moves we reached 90 move and we had this type of position queen d5 Okay, here king g4 was actually the best move, and then just improving. You you will see. I finally found a way to improve the position for me, bringing my king over. And yeah, we, we had to shuffle because we have a key position. This is the key position, but you have to have the exact same position, but he has to move. So I had to shuffle around in order that my opponent will have the same position, but with his tempo. So okay, so we have this position right now. So yeah, actually we, we, we I, I found the, the correct schema, but I had to, to turn it correctly. And I didn't have so much time. So okay, queen i7 and queen, uh, okay, king there or queen d4, both moves are correct. I shuffled my king around. Hey, okay, here right now we, we have reached the position. Queen there, rook c5 and queen check. This is very important because right now we have a position where the king is cut it off and I would just bring my, my, my queen over and bring up my, my king. My, and, if I can put my king on the third rank, it is already winning. And I finally found a schema to go further. But here he made the mistake. He played rook g4 and he lost immediately due to mate 1. But he has to go there. Then I will just play uh, queen check and go further with my king. And my king is correctly placed. And then it is only a question of, of checks to win the rook. So okay, it is what it is. And the rook has to be on this side and not on this side because if the rook is there, it will, there will be some tricks with the queen taking the rook and the king will be stuck here and it will be a, a, um, a stalemate. So, okay, I finally found the way to, to, to win. It is pretty funny because I had only 25 or 30 moves left in order to win the game, but I did that. Okay, he blundered mate in one, but I, I did find a way to win. So, it is cool, it is good, and yeah, it is what it is. Thank you very much for watching me. I will show you uh, how I did during this chess tournament. I will show you how many rating points I did get. And no, actually, I can just tell it to you. I managed to win 150 rating points. Uh, I played this another chess tournament with I, which I 
which I already, which I have already analyzed completely on my channel. There I have won 55 rating points. Uh, now I'm playing another chess tournament uh, in which I have already won 150 rating points again. So actually I'm uh, again reaching 2000 fide. Uh, actually even 2100 fide. I have to to read it, read that again. So thank you very much for watching me. Thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much for everything. If you have any more questions, just go in the comment section, subscribe, share the video. If you want a uh, premium chess lectures or even a chess coach, just go in the comment section. See you in the future upload. Take care.